Hey there, beautiful. This meditation is meant to help you feel into innocence and anchor more of that quality in the felt sense because it's already here, but let's feel into it some more and anchor that feeling, that quality into our lives. Please be comfortable, whether that's in cross leg sitting position or maybe lying on your bed, whatever it is for you, be comfortable. Breathe a few times deeply. And close your eyes. Think for a moment about the term innocence. What does it mean to you on this moment? See if the following makes sense to you. Innocence means freedom of blame. Innocence means purity. Radiant purity. Now, we would all like to see more innocence in our lives and feel more innocence in ourselves. Let's now take a moment to explore what limiting beliefs we have around the topic of innocence. Have you, for example, ever been told that only children are innocent and now, because you are grown up, you're not innocent anymore. Or have you maybe heard that we're all sinful? Maybe the church has told you something like that. Even if you're not a member of the church, you might still have downloaded those vibes a bit throughout your life. Or maybe your parents or caretakers have called you bad. Is there anything more that wants to surface? Maybe some memory, maybe some limiting belief. Just look at it, be aware of what's inside. Don't be afraid of facing anything as it is already there inside of you anyway. Have you been a judge towards yourself? Have you judged yourself sometimes as anything else than innocent?
Have you blamed yourself? Would you like to release all old ideas about innocence that are not serving you? You can. Picture for a moment a balloon, a floating balloon, and you can write with a marker on that balloon all the old ideas about innocence that you would like to release. Maybe you would write it down something like that I'm not allowed to make any mistakes. Then, if you're ready, you can take more time if you like, but if you're ready, you can picture yourself holding this balloon and then letting go of it and seeing the balloon float into the air and getting further and further away until it vanishes. And this just means that from now on, when you encounter old thoughts, you recognize that they're just old thoughts, remnants from a time when you had other ideas about innocence. And now you have released those, and so they're gradually vanishing out of your mind. Great. Now it's time to download a few new ideas about innocence. Can you imagine for a moment, feel into the truth that you are innocent? If this is hard, go back to the moment you were born, or even the moment you were in the belly of your mother. Weren't you innocent at that time? Pure. And nothing to be blamed onto you. Soft, a certain clarity and radiance of your heart. Now the question is, why would you be anything different when you grow up? So just because your body gets older and grows up, and just because you download new ideas from people around you about what's a sin, what's to blame, what should be judged. Just because your innocent self got flooded by those ideas from the outside, you lost your innocence? You still have that very same innocence. You 
have a kind of diamond essence inside yourself. And dust came on it, dirt came on it, but it's still your essence, even if you have not been seeing it for years. You can picture this diamond, this radiant diamond, in your heart space. Feel that you can bow to your heart and feel the innocence that's there. You can feel a very pure love essence brilliant, playful, emotional, authentic, and not being even able to be anything else than. An innocence so abundantly flowing out of your center that it cannot be obscured. It can go unnoticed for a while, but it cannot be obscured. It has always been there. And it will always be. Whatever quote unquote sin you will commit in your life. It will still be there. Because mistakes are welcome to be made. And do not have to be forgiven, for you have never done anything wrong. Yes, you can learn to make your behavior more harmonious with the outside world and, and with yourself. But that does not mean that when your behavior is not 100% harmonious, you are not innocent. So return to that softness in your heart space. Return to that pure radiance. Know that it is untouchable and abundantly glowing and radiating. out of your core. Come home in yourself. Let your heart be touched by itself. Let your heart be moved by its own beauty. Let your soul be touched by its own purity. Let your soul be moved by its own radiance.
be joyfully aware of your own innocence. And I take some last moments to finish this meditation in whatever way is best for you. What would you like to take with you from this meditation into your daily life? And when you're ready, feel your body. Feel the space around you, the room you're in, or wherever you are. Take a few deep breaths and open your eyes when you're ready. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had a great meditation time. Personally, I have found the first time when I really experienced innocence in myself. I have experienced that as so, so blissful. Like tears running down my cheeks just from coming home in myself. So I hope you had a beautiful experience too. Feel free to return to this meditation whenever you wish to dive deeper into the concept of innocence as you can always grow a level deeper into it. I wish for you to enjoy your day and would love to see you um, at another guided meditation video. At the end of this video I will play some links in case you would like to do another meditation with me. So, thank you for being here with me. Much love to you and until next time.